The History of Quilting in Four Minutes Chapter 1. A Stitch Somewhere in Time The history of quilts begins with the expression, two pelts are better than one, and three are even better still. The origin of quilting is unclear. However, we do know the first needle is some 60,000 years old. And the earliest known quilted garment? That's depicted on a carved ivory figure of an Egyptian pharaoh, about 3400 BCE. Safe to say, the practice of layering, stitching, and embellishing started somewhere in between. Chapter 2. Quilts are like pancakes. Every culture has one. Pick a continent, any continent. Chances are, you'll find something quilted. From Australian possum skin cloaks, to Aztec Ichkawipoli armor, Hawaiian kappa-inspired quilts, to auspicious Tibetan banners, or Zimbabwean Wea story cloths. Nearly each and every society has embraced and adopted quilting to fit their own cultural needs and tastes. Chapter 3. Quilting Goes West Huzzah! Crusaders brought quilting to Europe from the Middle East sometime in the 11th century, when knights wore unpronounceable quilted things under their armor for comfort and safety, and over their armor for comfort and safety of, you know, those delicate steel plates. Soon warm, comfy quilted armor inspired warm, comfy quilted bed covers. And so, the quilt moved from one battlefield onto another. Chapter 4. The Golden Age. Viva la Industrial Revolucion. In the 19th century, quilt making flourished, along with the middle class and easy access commercial goods. Not to mention the sewing machine. Quilts became stories crafted in cloth. A crazy, puffed, patriotic patchwork of samplers, signatures, and memorials fit for friendship, trading, or to just throw on your lap. Chapter 5. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall inherit the quilt. Legend tells of a woman's winter work, the patchwork square, a pattern square fabric that forms the top of a quilt, with a cryptic encyclopedia of fanciful names to baffle even the best code breakers. Bear paw, churn dash, periwinkle, flying geese, prairie queen, nine patch, and shoe fly. Meanwhile, piecing together these squares at Quilting Bee's elevated teamwork to an entirely new level. Chapter 6 Quilts for Art's Sake. Another revolution rocked the art and handcraft worlds when painters, printers, and sculptors turned to quilts as expressions of abstract art. And thus, the art quilt was born. Soon, fine art collectors and museums embraced this collision of traditional technique and modern design form. The humble went highbrow. Chapter 7. It's fair dink Aussie, mate. Born out of necessity and the make-do Australian spirit, the Wagga was the Bushman's blanket. Most likely named after Wagga Wagga, a place of wheat production and abundant old jute sacks. The traditional Bushman's Wagga made by pioneering men who lived a rough outback life droving and shearing, evolved as women replaced the very warm but very rough jute sacks with calico flower bags, fabric swatches, and bits of old clothes. And on that day, the domestic waga came home. Textile making is a practice spanning more than 60,000 years, from traditional techniques to cutting-edge technologies. Meanwhile, today, across the globe, eco-conscious makers are embracing the Make, do, use up, or do without spirit. Only nowadays, we call it upcycling. So there you have it, folks. Equal parts history, handcraft, art, storytelling, and good old-fashioned utilitarian usefulness. Quilts. The lost art that was never really lost.